Happy day, everyone. It's Michelle Mitten Prepper. I'm headed into Dollar Tree to see what kind of deals I can find today. Let's do some shopping. Of course, my first stop is the garden area. I need a couple things since we're getting ready to plant some seeds. These 10 piece plant labels, you can use a Sharpie on there. These are really nice to have so that I know where I'm putting things. Even though it's a small garden, I still need to know. And I need some more of these plant clips. These are really good. I have a lot of, I have a raspberry and a blackberry bush that are growing really well this year so far. And I'm gonna need to put some of those up. So I'll get those too. They're out of seeds except for a few things, like flowers mostly, but um, I already have my stash of gloves, so I'm set there. I don't have any of these except for a couple left, but anybody plant these bulbs from the Dollar Tree? Let me know. I'd like to know if they're any good. Leave me a comment in the bottom area there. If you haven't seen my other videos in the craft spot, they have an 18 pack of sewing thread, which is a good deal for buck twenty-five. And I think somewhere, I don't know if they have any left here, but they did have, and it was a different Dollar Tree. They have a pack of just the sewing needles, but they don't have any of them here. If you're looking for your items to put away for when power goes out to keep your kids busy, this is definitely worth a buck twenty-five for word finds, coloring books, you name it. That's good stuff to have when you're bored. If you can't do anything but sit there. These lighters are definitely worth the dollar twenty-five because the prices are a lot more in other places. The same thing with the large candles, whether you get the colored ones or not. And always make sure you get the one that's the fullest, like this one. Not that one, but that one. These little clip-on book lights. These are really good to have if you're without power or you don't want to use up any extra power if you have a generator, solar generator, whatever. Those are good because you can do a word find and keep the light low and save your charging for other more important things. Window and door alarms. These are good. You can even take them with you on vacation and use them. They don't have to be screwed in or anything. You can just maybe do some double-sided sticky tape or whatever, but for a buck twenty-five, these are good. Sleep with your windows open and know if anybody tries and opens it more. Nine by twelve foot drop cloths, buck twenty-five, that's a good deal. These aren't the highest quality tarps, but if you find them, they're free by seventy-two inches. And they're at a buck twenty-five. So if you're trying to get a few things on a budget. These are things that you can get for sure. Little three piece tool set, two to little wrenches and a little measuring tape, three foot long. These are good. If you can't afford expensive, good quality tools, at least you can have something to use. And this is small to go in a good, your bug out bag or whatever too. They are stocked back up on my favorite sponges. Six pack, I just opened my last one, so I'm gonna get a couple of these. Six for $1.25 instead of just one or two. So I'll take the six pack. Toothbrushes, good deal. Look for the three pack for buck twenty-five instead of just the singles or the two packs. These ones are okay when you get like the four pack. There's a three pack with the holder. Um, but if you want better quality that'll last a little longer. The Colgate ones, those are those are good for three of them for a buck twenty-five. Another another couple items if you're just starting out is if you're gonna start building a first aid kit. They have a couple here. This one's got 15 items in it for buck twenty-five. That one's a better deal, twenty-one. Then there's that little 18 piece in it, little container as well. 
and right next to it, triple antibiotic cream. Uh, yes, hemorrhoid cream, yeah, that is an important to have because it has numbing agent in it. So you could use that and you have no anesthesia if you need to do some staples or sutures. So remember that. I still have cases of this 32 ounce, which is a quart of soft soap liquid hand soap. Just make sure you pick out the one that's the fullest. You'd want that one, not that one, that one. Or even that one back there looks fuller. That's what I'd grab. Baby section, check their Pedialyte, electrolyte drinks. Those are good for everyone to have. Also, if you're not familiar with, you know, if you don't have babies or anything around anymore, diaper rash ointment and the diaper rash paste and the A&D ointments. All those things are good to have on hand for adults as well because if you are doing a lot of walking and your clothes are chafing you in all of the wrong spots, those are what you would like because they work good. Vaseline of any kind, obviously this small amount is not worth it. This one is bigger and uh, I would recommend having that on hand as well for, um, you know, cuts, scrapes, whatever. Keep some ticks off of you here and there or all kinds of uses for petroleum jelly. Baby wipes too. Make sure you find the biggest package. If you can get unscented ones, that's better. 72 in that one. There's a fragrance free right there. Um, yeah, 72 is the best count. So, uh, yes, they do dry out eventually, but if you shrink wrap them, they'll last for forever. Don't forget to keep some water additive little packets of whatever flavors. You gotta try them out, see if you like them, because some are not as good as what they sound like they would be, but probably almost anything added to plain water, if that's all you have, is a good idea. Also, make sure you keep a treat on hand for yourselves. Even if it's off-brand root beer, fruit punch, lemon lime, cola flavors, whatever. Those treats may feel like you are in heaven sometime when you have nothing else to drink. Same thing with some sweets. Mints are a good thing uh, to freshen your breath, obviously, if you're not being able to brush your teeth. And little treats. These crispy onions, I like these. They're good for a lot of recipes I have on hand. And the price of buck twenty-five is good. You're not gonna find English muffins anywhere for buck twenty-five. This and these are actually really good. And they're pretty fresh. I think the date on these are the 29th. Yeah, May 29th. So I'm gonna grab another one of these and some of these crispy onions. These large cans of pork and beans. Yes, they do have the pop top, so you don't wanna let them sit around for too long. Dates till 2024, but you can open and eat those real easy. Same thing. Anybody remember beating weenies as a kid? I do. I'm showing my age, I guess. Shelf stable milks, almond milk, original, vanilla, sweetened, unsweetened, buck 25. You're not gonna find better deals. Uh, I always keep a couple of these shelf stable on hand. Uh, I wish that they had some of my canned creamer, like coffee creamer, because you can use that in place of a lot of things in recipes. Ooh, I want a banana nut muffin right now. Yeah, the cake stuff, no, don't need cake things. Cereals, unless you're gonna get one like this. That big size, that's good for $1.25, but otherwise, stores are better. Coffees and teas, if you want them for bartering, that's one thing, but uh, this this brand of pretzels, that's a good deal for about $25. I'm gonna get a bag of those for the kiddo. They're good till 11 of 2023. She takes those with her snack for her lunches. This is a new brand I've not seen. Valetti's garlic pasta sauce. One pound, eight ounces. That's a good deal for a buck twenty-five. And let me check and see. What is there a date on here? Good till April of 2024. As soon as I can make some more room in my storage room, I'm gonna get some of those. This canned Alfredo sauce is actually pretty good too. 
and you know it's a can it's easier to stack than a whole bunch of heavy jars these mushrooms I buy them by the case usually so don't need those pastas are the best deal and easiest way to stock up you're gonna get 20 ounces for a buck 25 lasagna noodles are usually three dollars or more but if you find any place that's got their pastas in stock grab those same thing with the two pounds of rice long grain rice um, the jasmine is only a pound. They have egg noodles in here. Lentils. A lot of people like lentils. Milk replacer. That's good. Brown rice, two pounds, buck twenty-five. Totally good deal. And these I can recommend. There's twelve tortillas in here. These are only good till June twenty-sixth. But if they had some newer stock in here, I'd get some more. Um, these are really good. They're you know you don't have to refrigerate them until after you open them. Spices, salt, pepper, basic spices. Their salt here is two for a dollar. That is the closest deal compared to Aldi has theirs for uh, maybe 45 cents, 44 cents. I can't remember exactly, but I'm sure their price will go up soon. But if you find the salt, two for a dollar, stock up on the salt. And I also have tons already of the pink Himalayan fine salt. Oh. These cheese packets too. You get a box of pasta and a couple packets of these. You got meals for days. Add some veggies, you're good to go. The other good deal is you get your five pack of ramen noodles here. Even if you don't use the packets in them, the noodles are just fine. Buck 25. If you find this one pound bag of quick oats, you definitely want to have some of these on hand. They'll last for a long time. And, yeah, we have a good freezer section. We don't have a ton of stuff here, but the six pack of that garlic Texas toast, that's the only one I buy. Buck 25 is the cheapest price everywhere. And if you want a little soda treat, add that in as well. And that's all for today. Hopefully you all are doing good. Keep prepping and uh, God bless y'all. Go out there and find some deals. And if you're prepping on a budget, it's easy to do. You just gotta look for the right things to add at whatever is best for your family. Take care, everybody.